Let's look at another Boyle's Law example, but this time with sulfur volume. I'm told that a sample of nitrogen gas has a pressure of 555 torr and measures at a volume of 1.25 liters in a sealed container in constant temperature. So again, with a constant amount of gas and a constant temperature, which are both conditions required by Boyle, the pressure is increased to 925 torr. We want to know the new volume. Boyle's an inverse proportionality. So if we increase the pressure, we should expect a decrease in volume. Let's go and do the calculation. Boyle said P1V1 equals P2V2. And here we are looking for the new volume, so we're looking for V2. If we do the algebra, V2 is going to equal P1V1 all over P2. We just divided both sides by P2. Then I can just plug in my numbers. V2 equals P1, which is 555 torr. And then V1 is 1.25 liters. P2 is 925 torr. You look at this, in the last problem we were in atmospheres, and in this problem we were in torr. And it doesn't really matter, as long as your units are consistent, because you'll see that they cancel out. When we do this calculation, we get a new volume of 0.75 O liters. And I put that last zero there because all of my data is in three significant figures. So I wanted three significant figures in my answer. And this coincides with our prediction. We said that pressure and volume are inversely proportional. So I increased the pressure, so the volume must have decreased. The volume went from 1.25 liters to 0.75 liters.